dolls welcome back so today I'm going to be reviewing doing a first impression and also a demo on the new one new to me anyway the Christian Dior backstage blender so this is the higher version of the beauty blender so um, a high-end version of it this I picked up for £12 and you can get this from Debnum's House of Fraser the Dior website itself here it's a range of easy to use professional applicators that put the expert of Dior backstage makeup artist at your fingertips. The egg shaped sponge for fluid foundation produces a radiant sculptured finish of studio makeup techniques. It seamlessly hugs all the contours of the face even in those hard to reach areas. So there we have the sponge, that is what it looks like and then it's got a flat side at the bottom and then the tip at the top but the tip is quite oval shape okay and it gives you some application tips so deposit the foundation on the back of your hand take up a small amount with the side of your sponge and use horizontal strokes to draw the foundation from the center of the face outwards then use the tip of the sponge to apply foundation in targeted hard to reach areas of the face, wings of the nose, eye area and your contoured area etc. Lastly, tap lightly with the base to adjust coverage and obtain flawless corrector. To obtain flawless correction. Okay, so what you're saying here is to use this side to like sweep the foundation on like that to the outwards of the face. And then you use the tip for like in the nose areas, around the eye area, the contoured areas, the face area, etc. And then what it says is get the bottom bit to just kind of blend it all together. So because we're on the topic of Dior, I'm going to be using their Dior Forever Skin Foundation in the shades 031 and 050. And this is their most mattest coverage foundation. So I'm just going to be taking two pumps of each. So I've just mixed um, two pumps of each. I need to wet the sponge itself. The lady just says you have to use it dry. So I was reading up about it and it just says use it the way it is. I'm just going to go ahead and mix the foundation on my hand. So I've just got some on the back. And I'm just going to go ahead and sweep it on the face. got a habit of dabbing it in <laughs> it says not to do that so just apply it and then just do strokes away from your face So it's given a very light coverage because most of the foundation is seeped up into the sponge. So just pop some more on the back of my hand. So I'm just going to The tip is really good for getting into the corner, I must say. It just sw like swipes your whole eye. I say truthfully, when I first started using this, I hated it completely because I thought 
oh my god it's seeping all the foundation in it's not giving me a full enough coverage and I don't know if it's going to give me full enough coverage but um I was just touching the skin area and um sometimes when I do my makeup if I make a phone call if I'm on the phone I usually get a lot of makeup transfer on my phone I don't know if any of you ladies get that um if I haven't set it already but I was on the phone and nothing got transferred on the phone at all it was just like a clean slate and then I got my fingers and I kind of mushed my face a bit and I got nothing come up back on my hand so it really has seeped into the skin really well and it really does give you a really nice canvas to work with so um, as you can see you can still see a lot of uh, my skin area and also around the chin and around the cheek area and like everywhere else really the under eyes has done um, quite well to blend it in so I already have used eight pumps and I usually use four of each foundation to the whole of my face and give me that desired coverage but um, I think I have to go into another two of each more so 12 pumps altogether which is a lot of foundation but I'm bearing in mind that it is getting seeped into the sponge as well so I'm not too like particular on that because I am still after that um, desired coverage that I want which is a full coverage so I've just added um, two more pumps of each again And if you look at this area here, if I go ahead and sweep it out, it kind of deposits the foundation away. But if I push it in, it like covers the whole area. So um, I don't know if that's the technique that I'm missing, how it says it on the booklet. But I'm just going to go ahead and just do what it says on there and just kind of make my own rules up basically. Okay, and then it says for you to do is take the back of the sponge and just kind of um, tap it in basically. that has definitely given me a better coverage I think because it's kind of seeped it into the skin a lot more um, I can still see a bit of my cheek area here which I don't like and a bit here but I think I might end up just putting a bit of concealer there because I do not want to use more foundation than I usually do okay sticking with Dior I'm gonna be using the Dior skin sculpt concealer in 003 and this is no longer available but you can get the Dior Star Concealer around the nose area and around the mouth and a bit here I wanted to cover these little blemishy bits and then apply it under the eye area as normal So let's try the um, tip of the sponge now. So I'm just assuming if I, if I'm um, like 
dragging it away it's taking the concealer away and you can see a big dark eyed circle there so I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye but then press it in Okay, and that's definitely a massive difference between the two eyes because this one obviously has seeped into the skin whereas this one I've just dragged away so I'm not very happy with the dragging. So as I said to you, just kind of work with whatever works for you ladies. Just kind of play with it and sometimes you just have to um, make your own rules up. that I'm just concealing so I'm just pressing the rest of the concealer in so I'm just going to go ahead and apply a tad bit just here because it did take it away and then just press that in say so ladies it is really really dense when you're working with it so if you try to fight against it to push it away from the skin it just like bounces back so it is quite um, sturdy but there you have it ladies I think the coverage it has given me is quite medium to coverage so I quite like that full coverage but as I um, said previously I'm not going to be hand adding in more foundation because I don't want it to look super caked because that's not kind of the look that I want to go for but yeah so far first impressions are amazing and for the price you cannot go wrong so I'm going to be talking a bit more about it in the video but I'm just going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face off and I shall be right back. Hey ladies so I've just gone ahead and finished the rest of my face and um, I cannot say good enough good things about this I seriously am in love with it I think it is such an amazing product I think the most thing that I love about it is very versatile so um, if you're out and about you don't have to look for like a sink or whatever and damp your beauty blender or anything like you can just go ahead wash it from home with your beauty blender cleanser or whatever you use to wash your brushes and then just leave the house and just use this wherever you are just the way it is I must say ladies when you are using this though I would not use that technique of swiping it because I think it takes a lot of the product away and I would use the technique of just dabbing it on and I think it works like a dream and I do seriously love it and can't recommend it enough. When I was in uh, Debenhams picking this up the lady did say to me was put it in the washing machine and I find that really peculiar. Um, let me know what you ladies think. Why would you put this in the washing machine? and you've got like fabric softener in there, whatever you use when you wash your clothes and you're going to be using this on your face. Although you won't put any fabric softener in there and it's just pure water, I still wouldn't recommend for you, any of you to do that because I do not want you to come out with a rash or anything like that because it does harm the skin. I would highly recommend just to wash it uh, by hand with either Beauty Blender Cleanser or whatever you use to wash your brushes because I think that would be the best best option for it um, although it's used it still seeped up the product so well and it still feels absolutely like so fighting against its density is so hard it is and um, I really do think it's going to be an amazing product that will last for ages and um, yeah I'm really intrigued to just keep on using it. I'm going to be using it for a good couple of weeks to kind of test it out fully. Let me know down below if you want me to do Beauty Blender versus the Dior blender sponge because so I would be more than happy to do that like one side of the face and the other side of the face with a beauty blender cleanser. What I will do is then I will see it throughout the day and see which one holds up um, a lot more better. Um, but yeah so far 10 out of 10 love it. When I first started using it I hated it because I didn't like the way you had to sweep away. I think it's more better if you kind of uh, tap it into the skin because you want it, this foundation to actually sink into the skin not to stay and wipe away on the, on the actual surface. So um, yeah, I must say it is an amazing product. For £12 you cannot go wrong because the beauty blenders are around that price anyway and yeah, I do think it is an amazing product. I do prefer it definitely over the beauty blender 110% primarily because of the durability and the fact that
I don't have to like I can take it away with me a lot more I don't have to wash it etc and things like that I can only just wash it normally when I finish using it so yeah ladies do let me know down below if you are looking to or have purchased this product I think it is amazing I can seriously not stop playing with it because it is so super hard and sturdy I enjoyed this video showing the beauty blender because I said I was going to do it when I did show it in my recent haul video and yeah I just I think the coverage is immense love it it looks so natural so flawless and it's just everything that I want has um, performed really really excellently and the lady as suggested she did say it was good things about it but she didn't really give enough information into the care and obviously the product and it doesn't actually mention it in the booklet which is a shame but yeah just go with as I stated, which your own initiative, whatever you think, I find it works better when I blend it into the skin, patting it in. You may find if you swipe it away, as um, stated, that may work better for you or even cleaning it as well. Please be careful about the washing machine idea, ladies. I do not want you to turn out with a rash. So please be careful with that. And I would highly recommend to just wash it maybe under the, the tap or anything like that. And the colour is nice because it's just like a black colour. So it obviously is dirty now. So I'm sorry to show you that. But yeah, it's just... It doesn't look so overly dirty when you use it. So yeah ladies, hope you've enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you did. And also subscribe if you already haven't done so. And I shall see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.